Russell, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. How does it feel? No, no, no. We're a very proud man, Dave. Obviously, I um, thought the players were an absolute inspiration. I thought the crowd were an inspiration tonight. Um, I've never seen anything like that at this place in the four and a bit years I've been here. Um, the, the Peterborough fans were, were outstanding. Um, but, 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 but my fans, our fans, were, were extraordinary tonight. Um, they got behind the boys from the first minute and um, as I said to the Sky cameras, um, it was like a new football club being reborn today. There was a real belief around the stadium, there was a real togetherness, which is what we required because I think after tonight we all understand that if we like that together, we can achieve a lot of things. Both goals were taken so well. Yes, um, the first one, Cox here, the second bite, um, he's, he's been an inspiration again, 16 goals already this season and no more important than that one. Uh, Dagnall, um, I mean, I think that's about his seventh goal, I mean, he's, he's proved to be um, a, a very good signing for the football club. They were throwing bodies forward, so uh, there was always that opportunity on the counter-attack to get ourselves another goal and that's what we did. I don't think I've ever seen celebrations quite like what followed after Dean Cox's goal. No, 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 it was amazing, it was amazing, um, it was a fantastic night for the football club and I'm sure it'll live on in the history of many people's minds. Um, yeah, we've achieved something quite remarkable already by getting to Wembley, um, but as I say, there's still so much more work to do now. We're not just going there to make the numbers up, we're going there to get to that next level if we possibly can. Emotional scenes at the end of the pitch invasion for all the right reasons, and uh, it demonstrated just how much this victory and going to Wembley means to this club. Yeah, to everybody, from, from, from the chairman, who, who, who's ecstatic about getting there, and, 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 and the staff, uh, the two Kevins, Kevin Nugent and Kevin Dearden, and, and, and all my staff, Lee Southernwood, uh, they, they've been inspirational. Um, everybody works more than what they should, as I've said in previous interviews, we, we, we maximise everything. Um, we, we go beyond the call of duty at times, and, um, and, and that's what it's about here. If, you, if you're to shift um, a club like Leighton Orient from one level to the next, that's what you've got to do. How do you build from, from this though, in terms of the preparation for, for Wembley? Are they going to take the players away or are they going to get a rest? Um, yeah, yeah, they're going to get a little break. Um, we'll give them tomorrow off, I think they deserve <laughs> that. Um, we'll be back in Thursday, we'll have a body count on Thursday. And then what we're looking to do is probably give them um, a, a little long weekend off and then it will be back to business uh, on Monday at the very latest. Do you have a preference who you play at Wembley? No, not really, Dave. I mean, I think it'll be a very strong contest on Thursday between those two. It's a real war of attrition, they're very strong physical sides and as you saw in, in, the, in the previous game at Preston there was very, very little in it and um, that promises to be, you know, I'll be glued to that, I'll be watching that Thursday because um, that would be an interesting game. I remember when Barry Hearn took over at the club, he said he saw a potential here and that was realised tonight, wasn't it, at the end? Yeah, he's probably taken 20 years to realise. <laughs> he probably thought he might be realised a little bit earlier. Um, but but um, uh, hopefully um, in my time here, I, I've given him one or two um, really nice memories. Obviously the Arsenal in the FA Cup. Um, we've had a couple of good league seasons and, and this one at this moment in time is topping everything. And on a day when there's been so many discussions about managers leaving their jobs, you're one of the longest serving managers in the league, in the country now, and it just demonstrates what can be achieved with stability. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of that stat, and as you well know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy here. Um, obviously, my family are in the north, and, and, and that's difficult, but they're, they're so supportive. A fantastic wife, great kids, and and um, it, it's, we make sacrifices, but other people make sacrifices too. We're willing to do that at the football club. If we want to be successful, you have to do that. Finally, Russell, I'm sure it's not just about going to Wembley, is it? You want to go to the championship? Of, of course, of course, Dave, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, 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 all we could achieve tonight was to get to the next step. The next step was Wembley. We've achieved that, we can tick that off now. Preparation and the planning, as it's gone on for these playoffs so far, will continue. Well, congratulations and good luck, Russell.